friends. I'm sure, just like us, you must be yawning as well after watching us yawning. As we know, it's very contagious. But why exactly do people and animals yawn? No one knows for sure. But there are many theories about why we do so. So today, let us explore the dozy world of yawning and find the answer behind the vital question. Why do we yawn? Zoom in! So, what happens during yawning? Well, during yawning, which is also known as oscitation, we involuntarily inhale a deep breath, usually with your mouth open, followed by a slower exhale with your mouth closing. You feel a short pause in the breathing cycle, which does not generally occur, except when yawning. We yawn all the time when we are bored, when we are tired and when we feel sleepy during lectures in the classroom. <laughs> and as a result, according to this theory, our bodies take in less oxygen because our breathing has slowed. Therefore, yawning helps us bring more oxygen into the blood and move more carbon dioxide out of the blood. But it is termed as incorrect now. Recent research suggests that you yawn because you are hot-headed. No, no, no! Not that type of hot-headed that implies that someone is angry, but instead someone that needs to cool their brain temperature as our brain functions well at a specific temperature. But a whole day of activity such as traveling to school, doing homework, a late night, playing too many games on a cell phone, etc. can exhaust our brain and makes it sleep deprived that increases our brain's temperature. So we yawn to cool it down and during this process, we send blood to the brain through blood vessels while we also inhale air through our mouth and nose. This air cools down the blood flowing to the brain, which helps to decrease the temperature of our hot-headed brain. Isn't it awesome, friends? Hope you are still with us and haven't fallen asleep. Get up, because it's trivia time! Did you know that even unborn babies yawn? While we don't exactly know why, but it has been proven that fetuses developing in the womb yawn too. Wonder if they caught it from their mama. Also, did you know that you are more likely to yawn during winters? Recent studies have shown that your likelihood of yawning increases when the outside air is cooler. In the summer, yawns won't play as significant of a role as they are less likely to bring cold air into the body. It's question time! Today's question is, what is the other name for yawning? Do write your answer in the comment section below and hit the like and subscribe button to be a part of the Peekaboo family and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope today's video taught you a whole lot of new things about yawning. But there is one thing about it that everyone already knows and that is, it is highly contagious. If you yawn in class, you'll probably notice a few other people will start yawning too. Even thinking about yawning can get you yawning. I wonder how many times have you yawned while watching this video? I hope not many. <laughs> hope you enjoyed today's episode and until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos.
<laughs> See you.